I'm taking ZS. It is also ZS, but it is V A N. Similarly, it is plus, it is minus. Now, third phase is also here. So it is your ZS now. So I will take a three phase balance generator. I'm taking three phase balance load balanced generator. Okay, it is a it is B. Okay. And similarly it is C. Okay. Now these uh, this generator is connected. This generator will be connected to a three phase load by a transmission line. Okay, so it is a three phase balance load. And that is on star also. So it is neutral point, and we are also having this is your ZL. Okay, similarly, in that also, we are having a ZL. Okay, so first we are having. A three phase star connected a balanced load three phase star connected three phase star connected balanced alternator okay now we are also having a three phase a three phase balanced load and you know the balanced load and balanced alternator meaning now this generator is connected to a three phase load by a transmission line by a transmission line and your line impedance is ZL your line impedance is ZL okay similarly you are connecting your C phase you are connecting your C phase ZL and it is IA and it is B and it is C okay so you are connecting with C phase okay now B phase is connected to B of the load so it is ZL and just remove this thing so I just write here a three phase balanced load a three phase balanced load I think diagram is clear to you okay so first we are having a three phase balance alternator and three phase balanced load now we will define our voltages it is minus it is plus it is minus it is plus so it is VAN it is BBN and it is VCN okay so I'm write down I'm write down here the all the phase voltages VAN is equals to BP angle 0 degree BVN is equals to BP angle minus 120 degree and the third phase voltage is VP is equals to 120 degree these are the phase voltages phase voltages hopefully he was on the ROV now clear yata? so I'm now marking the line current I'm marking the line current this is your line current and this is your phase current because it is traveling in phase but it, now the line current was the line current is a current which is traveling from source to load and the phase current is the current that is through that is flowing through the phase or binding of either generator or the load okay so similarly I can mark this IL or IL ko agar mark karun then IA similarly it is IB and similarly it is IL of C so A phase line current B, B line current and C phase line current okay similarly it is I of A and it is your I of B that is IP and this is also IP now this is the C phase current small c all the IP clear hai 
So first point about the star connection is what? The first point. The first point of the star from the diagram, if you are saying the line current and phase current are same, the line current is equals to the phase current. So for a star connection, for a star connection, for a star connection, line and phase current, phase current are same. Okay. Hopefully, was one na gayi hui. Okay. Now, the second thing about this point is. Since load is balanced and load is balanced means what? The Z star or ZL, it is Z star or ZL equals to mod Z angle plus 5. Because we are taking load is RL load. Load is RL. Okay. Now, since load impedance is very, very high as compared to the source and line. Because you, if you studied your voltage source, ideal or practical voltage source, a ideal voltage source should have zero internal resistance or impedance and for the practical source it should be very very minimum. Similarly, a transmission line should have very low impedance so that minimum losses occur. So, clear your time. So, ZL is very very high as compared to ZS plus ZL. Now, the total star impedance is what? Series. These all are in series. So, Z star is equals to Z source plus Z line plus Z load. But these are very very small as compared to the load, so these are neglecting. These are neglecting, okay. And and the another reason for neglecting these two is that your calculation becomes very very easy. So your Z star is equals to Z load. Okay. So this is the second point about this thing. Now, hopefully, you are someone may are you now. Now, next thing is what? I am just taking the neutral impedance also. So, this is your current that is coming from this to this. This is N, N, N to small n because this is small n. Hopefully, so this is about the diagram. Now, if you take this assumption that the load impedance is very, very high as compared to the source and line impedance, then we can eliminate all these things. Just these thing you can eliminate these thing for your simplicity purpose you just remove these thing for your simplicity simplicity of the diagram okay so i'm just taking ideal voltage source ideal voltage source so that calculation is easy okay your calculation becomes easy clear okay now Second thing that I want to discuss with you, the phase voltage, the phase voltage is the voltage between a phase and neutral, the phase voltage, the phase voltage, first I will define here, phase voltage, phase voltage is the voltage, is the voltage between any phase and a neutral and neutral is called phase voltage is called phase voltage so we just define phase voltage line current and impedance okay now so these are these are the things now let's uh, take one more point that is third point about this thing okay now since this voltage this voltage the phase voltage of the source is equals to the load voltage phase a voltage so if you take ia current is equals to i think v a n divided by z l so it is v angle 0 degree divided by mod z angle phi okay so i can, I can write like it is i angle minus phi similarly i can write i b i b is equals to v v n upon ZL, so it is V angle minus 120 divided by mod Z angle plus 5. So I can write I angle it is minus no, minus 120 minus 5, or we can write I m sine omega t minus 5. Similarly, I can write I m sine omega t minus 120 minus 5. Hopefully, you pass on my Similarly, I can 
एक आईसी आईसी इज वॉट वी सी एंड ऑन जेड एल सो इट इज वी एंगल प्लस डिग्री अपॉन मॉड जेड इन टू प्लस फाइव सो इट इज आई एंगल प्लस वन ट्वेंटी माइनस फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू आई एम साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री माइनस फाइव ओके नाउ सो दीज आर द करंट सो इफ यू अप्लाई द के सी एल इट इज आई एज दीज करेंट आर सेम दीज करेंट आर सेम इट इज आई ए सो इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम इट इज आई सी एंड दिस इज वॉट योर आई बी and this is your neutral current this is your neutral current now if you apply the kcl at this point three current are incoming and one is outgoing so your in is equals to ia plus ib plus ic okay now if you put all these value if you put all these values are you just see all the currents are balanced because we are taking the balance source and balance load so the phase current or the line current producing by these thing these two is also balanced so your neutral current is zero neutral current is zero when your neutral current is zero the neutral voltage is i n into z n equals to zero okay so no drop drop is zero so in the next two point i can eliminate also this thing so we can also eliminate this thing because there is no current no drop so i can eliminate this Hopefully ये बात समझ में आ रही होगी अब आप लोगों को Now up to here we covered the three points about the star connection. Now let's see the next point that is more important. So in fourth point I just defined the line voltages. So what is the line voltages? I think ये clear होगा सबको अब मैं मिटा दे रहा हूँ ठीक है So next point i just define first the line voltage what are the line voltages so i will take in the fourth point i will take line voltages line voltage so i will just first define line voltages line voltage is the voltage is the voltage between any two phase between any two phase ओके, सो किसी भी दो फेस के बीच के वोल्टेज को हम क्या बोल रहे हैं लाइन वोल्टेज बोल रहे हैं और इसके मैं एग्जांपल पहले ले रहा हूं वी ए वी बी बी सी एंड वी सी ए बिकॉज वी आर टेकिंग द फेस सीक्वेंस ए बी सी फॉर गिविंग डायग्राम द फेस सीक्वेंस इज वॉट फेज सीक्वेंस इज ए बी सी क्लियर है यहां तक सो और फर्स्ट लाइन वोल्टेज इज V A B and V A B I can write V A N minus V B N. Okay. Similarly, if I take V C sorry V B C, then it is equal to V C N minus sorry it is V B C now. So it is uh, okay. Wait, I will take here. So it is B B C that is equal to V B N minus V C N. okay this is the first line voltage and it is the second line voltage similarly i take third line voltage that is vca that is equals to vcn minus van hopefully you are getting the idea now okay now let's mark these voltage in your diagram so first line voltage is vab so this is your first line voltage VAB according to the phase positive phase sequence it is VAB okay the first volt line voltage the voltage between n to phase and this is the voltage between a and b phase that is the VAB the line voltage next voltage is VBC what is where is V and C this is V and C so this is your VBC line voltage now next voltage about VCA so i just mark here okay i'm just marking here this voltage this is your थर्ड लाइन वोल्टेज दट इज लाइन वोल्टेज होपफुली ये बात सब समझ में आ रही है ना आपको जस्ट वी आर जस्ट डिफाइनिंग द लाइन वोल्टेज एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स क्लियर है ना फर्स्ट सी द ऑब्जर्वेशन योर फेज वोल्टेज इज आर बैलेंस्ड योर फेज वोल्टेज आर बैलेंस एंड योर फेज सिक्वेंस इज एबीसी ओके योर फेज वोल्टेज आर बैलेंस्ड एंड इट्स फेज सिक्वेंस इज एबीसी नाउ वी आर ड्राइविंग ना 
we are in a state to drive your line voltage and let's see what are the effect of balanced phase voltage and a positive phase sequence on the line voltage so start karte hain ab ye diagram mita dete hain kyunki is diagram se related jitni bhi information aani thi wo humne nikal li hai clear hai yahan tak so mita dete hain now i will i will just take first line voltage or we will take simultaneously all these three line voltages theek okay? hai so v a b that is equals to v l that is equals to v a n minus b b n theek hai so main one by one ek sath le raha hu teenon ko jisse ki aapko clear rahe v a b barabar hai so v a b v a n kitna tha v p angle zero degree और वी वी एन अगर आपको याद हो बी पी एंगल माइनस वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री ठीक है यहां तक सो वी ए बी इक्व टू बी पी को बाहर ले लेते हैं कॉस जीरो प्लस जे साइन जीरो माइनस तो है ही ऑलरेडी सो इट इज कॉस वन ट्वेंटी हो जाएगा बट ये माइनस जे साइन वन ट्वेंटी ओके सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस वी ए बी इज इक्व टू रूट थ्री बी पी it comes out to be root 3 bp and angle is its first angle about the line voltage is uh, i think this first line voltage of vab is 30 degree it comes out to be 30 degree i'm just marking these voltages because we have to derive some conclusion from these okay similarly if you take the next line voltage is of second line voltage is vbc so it is what vb n minus vc n a hai na vbc so it is bp angle minus 120 degree minus bp angle plus 120 now if you take bp common then it is cos 120 degree minus j sin 120 degree minus cos 120 degree and it is Minus the coil inside J sine one hundred and twenty degree. ठीक है यहाँ तक. When you solve this, it is VPC. It is also VPC is equals to root three VP. Root three VP angle minus ninety degree. Let's check. Oh, so it is minus ninety degree. Yeah, it is correct. Similarly, I will take the third line voltage at this point. Okay. so i'm taking the third line voltage here now the third line voltage is vca that is equals to what it is vcn minus van and it is vp angle minus plus 120 minus bp angle minus 180 degree so it is just vp common cos 120 plus j sin 120 degree minus what it is cos 120 but minus minus plus j sin 120 degree okay and i think this is 150 is it true no it is 210 or uh, plus 90 this is what it is a minus 2 210 so it comes out to be this is bpc sorry it is vc na so it is vc equals to root 3 vp angle minus 21 degree so these are the three line voltages okay so hopefully ye baat samajh mein aa gayi hogi ab aapko i just write the all the line voltages now i just draw the phasor diagram of the these line voltages okay so see how we can draw the line voltages of these three let's take red pen also so that you can have clear picture of these thing okay so i'm taking the phasor diagram of these phase and line voltage here okay so let's see the first phase voltage is this your the first voltage this is your van and the second one is i think it is correct so it is vvn and the next one is your bcn okay now these are the your 
phase voltage which is having the positive phase sequence as a b c okay now i'm just drawing all the line all these phase voltage in their reverse direction so it is minus v a n similarly i'm taking this voltage as minus b v n sorry minus v c n okay similarly i'm taking this voltage as minus b v okay now first check the angle this angle is 120 so this is 60 this is 60 so all are 60 60 60 60 okay now now the first line voltage is what is the first line voltage the first line voltage is v a b that is where is the a a is here and v a b is here so it is this voltage I'm taking this is the first line voltage that is V A B that is equals to root 3 VP angle plus 30 degree. Okay. Similarly, I'm taking the second line voltage is B B C where B and C this is. So this is your second line voltage. Okay. And it is minus 90. So I will check the angle. Okay. So it is 120 minus 120. So it is minus 90. So it is 30. Okay. Now next line voltage is VCA. I think this should be your VCA. Okay. It is wrong. So this is your third line voltage. That is this. So it is VCA root 3 BP angle. How much? Minus 2 1 degree. So now let's mark the angle. So it is 0 and it is 30. So it is 30 degree. Similarly, it is minus 120. It is minus 90. So it is 30. Okay. Now this is 120 positive and it is 210 negative. So it is 30. Okay, so see the conclusion from the phasor diagram. Okay, so our next point from the line voltage is what? In star connection, in star connection, in star connection, in star connection, each line voltage, each line voltage lead their in star connection each line voltage lead their phase voltage phase voltage by how much degree check your answer 30 30 30 so answer is 30 degree this question is asked okay now the next conclusion since phase voltage phase voltage phase sequence phase voltage phase sequence phase sequence is a b c a b c and line voltage and line voltage line voltage phase sequence phase sequence is also is also a b c that means if you are having ABC phase sequence voltage for the phase voltage, then you are getting the same phase sequence for the line voltages. Okay, now next thing. Since phase voltage are balanced, phase voltages are balanced, are balanced, and they produces, they produces, they they also they also produces balanced balanced line voltages ye baat samajh mein aa rahi na meaning kya hai dekhiye agar hamare jo phase sequence va bb aur vc agar inka phase sequence hai abc then your line voltage vab vvc aur jo vca hai unke bhi line voltage wo phase sequence kitna hoga abc that's the meaning of this thing second point okay now if you see the phase sequence Phasor sum of line voltage VAN plus VVN plus VCN is zero. 
then if you put all these line voltages this this then all the line voltage also give you the phasor sum is zero vc vab bbc and vca so these are the conclusion from the line voltage or star connection now next thing is what in star connection line voltage is equals to the root three times of the phase voltage so this connection is used for the this connection is used for the increasing voltage okay so that's why in your system uh, in our uh, generating or uh, transmission system we use three phase system the phase winding are designed for low voltage but when you make your winding in three phase star you are getting 170 1.73 times of their phase phase voltage so star connection is used for high voltage connection and low star connection is used for high voltage and low current application and the example are three phase generator winding okay so this is about the star connection and if we summarize for the star connection line current and phase current are same line current and phase current are same and the line voltage is equal to the root three times of the phase voltage next point the line voltage lead or ahead 30 degree by phase voltages if the phase sequence of the phase voltage is abc then the line voltage is also having the same phase sequence if the phase voltage is balanced then the line voltage produced by this phase voltage is also balanced so these are about the things for the star connection and uh, next we will see the delta connection then we will some numerical and after that we will take the comparison part of these two so ab hum start karenge apna delta connection now let's take our next three phase connection that is delta connection okay so let's start the delta connection and we will take first diagram of this thing so our delta connection is for the delta connection we will take now ideal sources first because in a star connection we all have, we have already given the reason why we are taking the ideal sources because if you are taking ideal sources then your calculation is very very easy okay so it is your a b and c then it is a vav and it is bbc and it is bca okay then we will have also the delta connected load delta connected load okay so i will take the delta connected load just stick to this thing so that you can have clear diagram okay so we are taking a delta connected load okay so let's draw the delta connected load this thing okay now it is a it is b and it is c okay so v to b and c to c let's correct this is c to c and this is your b to b and this is your a to a okay then so it is your let's mark the current this is your line current a and this is your line current b this is also called line current line current okay similarly the c phase line current is this ic is equals to il okay now these are the balanced delta connected load these are the balanced delta connected load where i just take it is iab then it is ibc and it is ica that is equals to phase current so these are the phase current i hope so diagram is clear to you now so here i just take in the left side a delta connected a delta connected balanced source balanced source theek hai yahan tak similarly on the right hand side we take a delta connected a delta connected balanced load it is load okay 